everybody, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Hanukkah, all of the things. I'm sitting here, it is Christmas day, it is no longer Christmas morning, it's Christmas evening. This is actually probably the latest I've ever gotten this video up, but you know, I was just enjoying time with the fam, we went on the boat, we just had like a really nice day, and I'm really thankful for that. I am going to be filming, who knows, like probably my ninth annual What I Got For Christmas video. Every year as I get older, I'm like, eh, should I film it? It's weird, but like, you guys love these videos, I honestly love watching them. I can't wait, like after all my family leaves tonight, to just like get in my bed and watch them, because they're just so much fun to watch. I don't know, that's just me. Um, so yeah, disclaimer, this is not meant to brag in any sort of way, it's just you guys always request these videos and they're just so much fun and festive and I love Christmas, it's a good time, my family likes Christmas and uh, yeah, I'm very, very thankful for everything I got. I'm really excited, I got to give some really awesome gifts to some of my family this year, which was really awesome. I'm gonna link as many things as I can down below for you guys to check out so it's easily shoppable because I know it's nice to like use your like gift cards that you get for Christmas or shop those after Christmas sales, so I got you. So without further ado, let's get started. Merry Christmas. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. So we're going to start off with my stocking, per usual. Um, this is my stocking. It's literally my favorite. Um, I still believe in Santa Claus, so so stockings are always my favorite part. Like, I don't know, I think stockings are so much fun. I got a bell for my bike. I'm so excited because last time my mom and I went for a bike ride, she had a bell and I was so jealous. So I guess Santa remembered. Um, and it's black and gold, very my aesthetic. And hey, everyone will know. Got some Aveda hand relief lotion here. Oh, this is like really random. So it's called an emergency light. So it has a sticker on the back. It's kind of like a command strip on the back and you can like put it wherever you want. So like if you live in a dorm or whatever, or like I could put it on my nightstand. I don't really know, but guys, this gets like really bright. Got some Aveda air control hairspray. This stuff is amazing. It's a mini size. I love how that hairspray smells. Got it. It's so funny now that I'm 21. Like I got, so, I feel like an adult now. You guys will see. I got so many like adulty gifts. Um, this is like a wine stopper, but it's also an aerator. Um, then you can like put it in the wine bottle and shut it so it's like closed. Oh my god, guys, these, I, this is the, just the cutest freaking thing. Chalkboard cheese markers. And so it's like when I do my cheese boards now, they're like little, like here, and here's the chalk. Like how beautiful is this? And you write like manchego cheese, cheddar cheese, brie, and then you can stick it in the cheese and it'll just give a whole other aesthetic. They're from Crate and Barrel, it looks like. Um, I just think that was so sweet and so like thoughtful and cute. So very on brand. I think there's like one more thing. Oh, and without fail, a Star Wars gift card. First things first, I'm gonna get started with what I am wearing. Um, I love Ever J pajamas, you guys know. I think I got a pair for Christmas last year as well. My aunt kills it with the gifts. She got me this really beautiful red set, and I've been wanting a pair of like red pajamas um, from Ever J. And so she actually like bought these pajamas. And then she took the pajamas to an embroidery shop and she showed them. If you guys don't know, like a couple of years ago, I came out with my own backpack design and my logo was this. It's the DC logo. I believe it's like on the corner of the screen as well. And she literally had them copy exactly um, the font and everything. And they embroidered DC like my logo um, on the pocket, which I thought was so sweet and so generous. So I'm obsessed. And these are like the softest pajamas ever. I'll link them down below. I have a couple pairs because they're just like the softest things ever. Um, so I'm really thankful for that. I guess I'll show what else she got me. She got me this It Cosmetics makeup brush set. I have one It Cosmetics brush. I just featured that in my Things I'm Loving Right Now video. And so I'm really excited to try out all these others. So yeah, it has all these different brushes. I'm obsessed. I'll try and find this set and link it down below for you guys. But it's got an angled stippling brush, a powder brush, a, like a contour brush, and an eyeshadow brush. And I'm so excited because these are like synthetic fibers and they're so soft. She also surprised me and got me this. This is the Beach Fragrances. Um, it's literally from beachfragrances.com. It's the Southampton scent. And when her and, when I was like in high school, like freshman year of high school, we went to the Hamptons in New York. And um, we were in Southampton and I bought the Southampton like perfume scent. And it is my favorite and I ran out of it. And she knew, it's like such a nostalgic scent. Like it smells like high school to me because I wore it like all throughout high school. And she knows that I ran out of it and like I can't just like go to the Hamptons and buy it. I guess they have it online now too, but it's something I wouldn't get for myself. So it was so sweet of her to get me another one. Like literally, oh, it just smells like the beach, but like with a little like coziness to it. I don't know, but it's just like, that was just, I love thoughtful gifts like that where she like remember, I don't know, so sweet. My mom got me this candle. It's one of the homesick brand candles, which I love. And it's basically, they have a ton of different scents from like a ton of different areas. So I have an Athens one that I burn here because it's like, oh, I miss Athens. So she got me this one to burn at, in Athens at school when I'm missing Florida. And it definitely smells like 
Florida. I think this one, it says, Florida's finest citrus and a subtle under undertone of bergamot give way to woody mangroves and Spanish mosh finished with vanilla and amber. I don't know, it smells good. And I just I just think it's such beautiful packaging and it'll look great on my desk and I can just smile when I look at it. So I thought that was a very thoughtful gift. She also got me this, like how freaking cute, grow sunflowers. Um, I think the place that I'm going to start shopping for people for gifts is uncommongoods.com. She said she found a ton of like really cool, funky gifts. Um, this was one of them. So it's basically, it looks like an egg carton and inside you get your seeds and then some like fertilizer. I don't really know. Like, so I don't really know. And like markers and everything. And you start growing the sunflowers in the egg carton and then you move them. As they get bigger, you transport them like a bigger pot and you put them on your like patio or balcony or whatever. So, <laughs> Delaney, if you're watching this, you down for some sunflowers on our balcony? I think that could be a vibe. Also, I think from Uncommon Goods, it got me this guy. And this is the Yoga Wheel. Um, I love it. I use foam rollers a lot for my back when my back is hurting or like after spin because it kind of irritates my lower back every now and then. Um, but this is basically a foam roller, but you can do a ton of other things on it. I'm so excited to bring it back to school with me. And it shows you like all the different things you can do on it. So I did this one literally this morning when I got it. And it really does. It opens your chest and your shoulders. Um, and you can do like core workouts with it. Um, helps you do a plank. I was like rolling my back out with it. It feels amazing and it's like so cute. And that's why I drove home so I can bring this back with me. I don't have to worry about like fitting this on the plane or anything. I just thought it was a very unique gift as well. And I'm so excited because I definitely need it. My grandparents sent me a ton of socks, but not only just regular socks. They sent me Bombas. Bombas are like trendy right now. They literally have them on the Delta flights and everything like that. Like they're really, really nice. Um, a lot of people do like podcast ads for them and everything. I think we did too. Um, but they're, they're worth like getting because they're so stretchy, but like kind of like thicker. And I love the cut and they're so cute. They sent me a ton of different, um, patterns out this is probably my favorite one and then I love these these are over the knee um socks they're just like some really cute gray ones I thought would be really cute if I wear with like a sweater dress or something or even just like roaming around my apartment with like a big sweatshirt and these socks um very very cute they also sent these socks for Ryan they're so sweet um <laughs> they're like long socks to say bah humbug so I sent Ryan a photo I was like they got you a gift this is where the adult part comes in um <laughs> my parents had a time at Crate and Barrel, it seems. Um, so, and it's so funny because that's when you know I'm getting old, like when I get excited about the things that I'm about to show you guys. So I told my parents I wanted some new wine glasses. Um, so I told my parents I wanted some wine glasses because, you know, it's that part in your life. And I didn't really give much instruction. I just said, like, I want them to be, like, cool. The people at Crate and Barrel, I guess, told my parents that these are the Instagram wine glasses. And I have seen these before. I cannot remember who, but I've seen this on social media before. They're called the um, Edge Wine Glass. And I think these are so dope. And they got me four of them. It'd be great at my apartment with a little cheese board. I love them. They're really easy to hold like that. And I think they're definitely um, something funky. So very, very sweet of them. And um, they also got me a cheese board. I'm so excited. Um, this one's actually like from a real tree, um, like not like obviously it's wood, but like they literally just like cut like part of the trunk off and um, they got this. So each one they said looked completely different um, and they chose this one. It literally smells like wood. It actually smells like, it smells like barbecue for some reason. I don't know why, um, but it's nice and it has like little um, pegs on the bottom. So it's like elevated above your counter. I'm really excited and that was like a very thoughtful gift. Like, cause I got like a really small cheese board and it just doesn't fit enough. So this is gonna fit more um, for when we have guests over and stuff. And the last Crate and Barrel box, this is a fun one. So much tissue. Um, so there's this drink I've been making. If you guys watched my getting ready for a Christmas party vlogmas at the end, I like do a little bartending segment. Um, and the drink would be a lot. The drink that I make is basically like gin, cranberry juice, lime juice, simple syrup, and like you muffle it. So you like put it in, well I would use like two red solo cups and like pour it in. Um, but you're supposed to like drink it out of martini glass because there's no ice or anything and that would like look a lot better. Um, and my parents like knew that so they got me two martini glasses. I don't like normal martinis, but like this drink I make, I guess it's like a cranberry martini. I don't really know what to call it. The original martinis were made with gin. I'm so excited. So I got two of these guys, which is really thoughtful. 
Also, because they saw that I was using a red Solo cup to shake my cocktails, they got me a cocktail shaker, which I thought was really cute. I'm so excited. I literally want to make some tonight for all my family. I don't know. Mixology is very interesting to me. So this has been a fun little project. Um, and this is also from Crate and Barrel, I'm guessing. So you just put the ice, you pour your drink, shake it up, and then you pour it into the martini glass. And it... Oh. This is about to be so much fun. And lastly, I got a new suitcase. Um, I've been wanting a suitcase because all my suitcases are like hard top, which are awesome. Very sleek, very trendy, obviously. Um, but there have just been times where I wanted like a suitcase with like outer pockets and a little bit stretchier, but still nice quality. And my parents picked up on that. So um, they got me this. It's a Swiss Army um suitcase it's kind of like a medium size it's perfect i just think this will be great for like international travel and stuff when like you're packing and repacking your bag all the time you're you know you're bound to like i don't know you just need like extra pockets and stuff so let's be up my shoes on the outside and this is very wide um and it has the four wheels on the bottom and i like it because it's red i like to have suitcases that you could tell are yours if that makes sense like i've never had a plain suitcase i just can't do it like I don't know, it's easy to spot, and so that was really, really sweet. That is everything I got for Christmas. I'm beyond thankful for everyone in my life and that I get these opportunities, and I'm so thankful for you guys. I love you guys so much. Again, I'll have as many things I can find linked down below. I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year. More videos will be coming. I might take a break for the next few days, um, but more videos will be coming very, very soon. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys very soon for our next video. Bye.